Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing well. Today we have another tutorial and this is the look I created. We're definitely getting smoky and I want to get into more of cooler tones because I definitely wear a lot of warm tones and I need some more variety here on my channel for other people that are looking for different things. So here is the look I created. If you wanna see how I did it, keep watching. I'm going to start off with priming my face. We are going to work on the eyes first, but sometimes I like to prime the face, allow that to sink in before going with foundation. So I'm grabbing the Too Faced Hangover Primer, and I'm going to put this all over the face. Now let's prep the eyes. I'm going to use MAC Paint Pot. This is in the shade Painterly. You can use Soft Ochre, whichever um, matches your skin tone. I'm going to use the tiniest bit and just apply that all over the lids. Having any all matte palette, you can use anything. I'm using the It Cosmetics Celebration, or it's the Naturally Pretty Celebration palette. I'm gonna go in and grab Snow Angel. It's more of just like an ivory color. This is gonna set that paint pot. That way all of our eyeshadows just blend a lot better. Let's add a transition shade. I'm actually going to go and use Cozy, which is kind of like a tan camel tone. This could be a skin tone if you are a lot deeper. But for me, since I'm very fair, this is a nice transition shade. Okay, now I'm going to grab the Lorac Duchess palette. This was a few years back. They did this whole collection, and this was one of the little quads that came in there. And these shades are a lot more blue-toned um, and gray. You've got a silver and more of like an icy uh, white shade that has a little bit of like a tint of blue. So I'm actually going to start off with this gray. I have Honestly, I don't think I've ever used this palette, so I'm really trying to utilize some of my collection. And I'm gonna start working that in. Keeping most of it on the outer corner, but blending to the crease, or I should say up to the crease. Whatever's left on the brush, I am taking it in all the way, all over the lid. Now I'm going to go in with this very deep blue. And these are all matte, by the way, too. This is very pigmented, so I am going to tap off the excess here. I'm keeping this color low. I'm not going above the crease. Whatever's left on my brush, I am taking it towards the center of the eyelid. I'm just blending that into the outer corner where it's deepest. I am going to go in with a black as well and maybe a deeper blue because this blue is more of a brighter navy. I think I'm going to grab Starry Night from the It Cosmetics palette, which is a little bit deeper. I'm just going to take that on the outer corner and just kind of go over the areas, but deepening that outer corner even more. We're also going to go in with a black, just kind of giving that transition ombre effect. Going in with a brush that had that transition shape, I'm just going to start to buff out that edge on the brow bone. Now I'm going to go in with the black in the It Cosmetics um, palette. And again, these are all matte shades. We haven't used anything with shimmer. And I'm just putting that really on the very edge, outer corner. I'm not taking that in too much. I'm gonna get a fluffy brush that's completely clean and free of product. I'm gonna blend that 
edge a little bit here. I can use that cozy shade again. So going back in with the camel shade, I want to bring a little bit of that color on the crease, but slightly higher. I am going to go in with Snow Angel once again. So that's that light ivory shade. And I do want to, you know, sharpen up and brighten up the brow bone. I am going to use that black shade in the Cosmetics Coal, completely matte black, and an angle liner. And I'm going to kind of make a liner with this shadow, but keeping it really close to the lash line. And I'm just really stamping it, and I'm not taking it all the way in. I'm creating a very tiny flick at the end, too, just to lift the eye up. Can definitely do this with a black gel liner or a liquid liner but I like using a shadow it becomes a little softer and kind of blends in with the rest of the eye color that we put on instead of being just so harsh and such a different texture than the rest of the eyes you do have any fallout you want to clean that up before you go in with any of your foundation and that kind of thing Okay, I'm going to go in with another face primer. This is just a pore filler and kind of just a base smoother. It's the Makeup Forever Step 1 Equalizer. And I'm just going to use the tiniest bit of this. If you go in with too much, it kind of starts to ball and pill up on the face. So I have the tiniest amount that I'm just going to press into the pores. This next step is optional. I have a lot of redness in my nose and I don't always find that foundations will cover that redness. So I go in with the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Redness. I just put a tiny little amount in the back of my hand. And I'm just gonna take that on the sides of the nose, a very thin layer. I don't want my nose to be cakey because I am gonna go in with foundation, you know, concealer, that kind of thing. It kind of just neutralizes that redness. For foundation, I'm using the Sonia Kashuk Soft Focus Matte Foundation. I'm in the shade, this is vanilla. You can go in with your favorite foundation. I'm just using this at the moment. I think I'm gonna use my uh, Real Technique sponge for this. I think I'm actually gonna go in with a buffing brush today and then maybe finish off with the sponge. I'm going to use two different types of concealer, and I'm actually going to go in first with the Anastasia Concealer in 1. I'm in the shade 1. It's um, more of a very emollient concealer. And I'm just going to tap that in with my finger and then blend the rest of it out with the sponge. I just use this concealer on any other areas that I just might need a little bit more coverage. I am happy with the way the base is looking, but I do want to brighten a touch in the inner corner, especially if you have very bold eyes. You really want your under eyes and all that area to be as perfected as possible. So I'm going in with Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light, which is too light for all over the face. But if you just take a little bit right here in the inner corner, to get that sponge. I'm going to push that in and it will help brighten up that inner corner too. If you have any left on the sponge you can go and kind of highlight some areas maybe down the bridge of the nose. Before we go in and set anything you want to use your cream products for your face first. So I'm grabbing Pearl. It's the Becca Shimmering um, Skin Perfector Spotlight with my finger. Just gonna tap that in. I like to get a sponge too and blend that out. 
Now let's go in with blush. I'm gonna grab the Stila Convertible Color in the shade Magnolia. So it's a nice, nudey, um, pink shade. I'm gonna grab a stipple brush. This is gonna be our cheek color. Use your finger brush. I like to use the brush and then my finger or a sponge afterwards. I'm using the ColourPop Aphrodisiac. Um, this is a color, a Super Shock cheek color, and you can see it's a very loved. I just want this to warm up the face a little bit. For the under eyes, I am going to go in with the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Ethereal Light. I am going to grab my sponge this time as opposed to a brush, and I'm just going to dab that product on. Actually, let's finish up the eyes. Let's go in and curl our lashes. For mascara, I'm using, you're going to see a theme in almost all my videos lately. It's the Dose Max Lash Volumizing Mascara. I absolutely love this. It is so good. If you're looking for volume, length, ugh. For bottom lashes, using the CoverGirl Clump Crusher. Let's brush these brows and get some product on. I think no matter what look I'm doing, my brows are so important, especially on a bolder eye look. The brow product I'm gonna use today is from Soap and Glory. It's the two-in-one brow sculpting crayon and I'm in the shade um, brown and out. This brow pencil actually has a setting gel on the other end, so I like to just brush the brows in place. If you want your highlighter to pop even more, you can set that cream or liquid highlighter with a powder one, so I might do a little bit of that today. Let's go in with Elf's Baked Blush, although this isn't even a blush. It's pinktastic. I love this highlighter, and I'm going to take a very tiny amount, and I'm just going to hit that high point. A little on the nose. Bridge of the nose here. Let's get the Cupid's bow too. For lips, I'm going to keep it nude today. And I'm going to start off with the Burt's Bees. These are just, they're lipsticks. I forget what they're even called. It doesn't actually say on here. It's this little packaging. This is in the shade Nile Nude number 500. I have like a peachy nude, nude, I guess you'd want to say. I am going to go in with a liner. I'm using the Milani Color Statement Lip Liner in Nude just to kind of shape my lips out a little bit, not too much. You can leave it like that, top it off with a gloss. I think I might actually put a little gloss on top. So let's use the Soap and Glory. This is a Sexy Mother Pucker in the shade Nude Star. And I think that's it. You can go ahead and set everything. So I'll use the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And that's our completed look. I love how this turned out. I think that it's such a classy look. You can use this for any occasion, really, and I need to venture out and stop using so many warm colors. They'll always be my favorite, but I'm very happy with how this turned out, and I hope you are as well. Don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up if you do, and of course, if you haven't subscribed, you know where that button lives. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!